One year ago, Haiti was struck by an earthquake that left over 230,000 people dead and millions homeless. Immediately, I wanted to get involved, but I didn't know how. This summer, I discovered a way I could help. While I was in India, I became aware of a global problem, and that is unclean water. I found out that more than 884 million people drink water that looks like this. I was shocked and angered when I discovered this. I decided to create a project called Hope for Haiti, which was designed to help Haiti by providing clean water. Our goal was to dig a clean water well in the community of Bruno. The community has between five and 6,000 people living there. When we arrived, I learned that this community had no electricity or clean water. I was shocked that Haiti was so close to the United States yet completely different. I was determined to get this water well done as soon as possible. We used a drilling rig that was created by Living Hope Mission. The head driller's name was Daniel. He had over 20 years of experience in well drilling. The entire community of Bruno stepped up and got involved in helping us complete the well. Children as little as three were involved in carrying around buckets. The digging process went very smoothly because we hit water on our first attempt at finding it. The digging process took about six hours. We had to drill about 60 feet before hitting clean water. We were able to tell that we hit clean water because of the way that the layer of mud looked. Before we could install the hand pump, we had to remove the dirty water. Once that was complete, we were able to start the process of putting the permanent well in. To keep the well in place, we added cement around it. Once that was complete, we capped the well, added cleaning solution, and let the well sit for a day. The next day, we came back and added the permanent 60-foot piping. To do so, we connected five 12-foot steel posts together. The last part of this great experience was to get everything prepared to install the hand pump. The community was excited, and so was I. In a matter of four days, the well was complete, and we were able to install the hand pump. We had a ceremony to pass the well to the community. Finally, these Haitian people had water of their own. They were so excited. Both children and parents were thrilled about the well. Immediately, the children started going to the well and pumping the water. This water well is the first well to be put in the community of Bruno and is now providing water to over 5,000 people. Also, during my time in Haiti, I learned of another problem, and that is children who have no food to eat. My name is Wilbert Mezilis, I'm working with Living Hope Mission in Haiti, and we are in Dirac, a small uh, community in northeast of Haiti. You could see uh, behind me, this is the new school in Dirac. We have about 11 classrooms in this uh, area that would provide first uh, for about uh, 700 kids in this school. This is the only uh, school in, in, in this community. And we're here, we're providing uh, education for those kids who would go otherwise without any uh, formal education. We also have a well, we drill a well in this community back, back there. The kids could have good clean water. And we have a lunch program and that those kids also could have access to uh, lunch when they come to school. And I can show you inside we have a small library. This, those children will have access to good books that they can have, uh, they could read. So there's a lot to be done, but we do all of this 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So we pray that God will open doors to provide more for those children that are really in great need. Would you pray for us? Thank you for coming. God be with you. I want you to be a light for this community as well. If you have looked at the news lately, there are many needs worldwide. Things such as people starving, people with unclean water, sex trafficking, and kidnapping. The problem seems too big and it looks like there is no way for us to even begin to make a difference. The truth is, we cannot help everyone, but each person helped is another person better off. By me simply wanting to go to Haiti, over 5,000 people now have clean water to drink. Here is some of the water from the well that we helped dig. Also, about 300 children are now guaranteed to have a meal. No person is too small to make a difference. Take a stand for something you believe in because it is possible. Thank you for uh, bringing uh, Jonathan and Jeremy to Haiti to visit Living Hope Mission to see what Living Hope Mission is doing. Especially this time, uh, they came to help provide uh, water for a large community, about 5,000 people in that community called Tisharit. And uh, we just drill a well. We take two days to drill the well and install the new pump. And after we did that, all the children came. How thankful they were to you for supporting uh, our friends, uh, Jonathan, who came and to bring the money to pay for that well. And this is such a blessing and we thank the Lord and we want to thank you all who participate to make that trip uh, uh, possible. 